Hello ladies and gentlemen, Row Row 82 here, your railroad archaeologist. For those of you that don't know me, let me show you guys what I do. I keep their memory alive. So all these fallen flags like Seaboard, Atlantic Coastline, Santa Fe, Conrail, I keep their memories alive through my 600 plus videos of van and railroads, historic crossings and such. I also sell merchandise like this one to help me promote my channel and uh, add to my traveling expenses so I can keep bringing you content like this. $13 plus shipping. $18 plus shipping. Guys, uh, please enjoy the video. Leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up. It helps me in the YouTube algorithm. I look forward to reading your comments. Always a pleasure. Please enjoy. Talk to you soon. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Row Row 2 here, your railroad archaeologist. Alright guys, for a second forget about the railroad spur. That right there in the distance is known as the Golden Glades Interchange. It's where, it's where the Palmetto Expressway meets the Turnpike meets I-95. So here in morning rush hour traffic, it's not a nice place to be. Okay, so the crossing itself. Here we have the pavement marking, the advanced warning sign. By the way, if anybody knows, I guess this might vary from state to state. What, what is the distance in feet between the pavement marking and the, and the crossing itself? Does anybody know that? Please comment below, I'd love to know. And then here we have this. Wait, let me show you this first. So yeah, it's, at one point there used to be wooden cross bucks here. But then they replaced it with uh, what appears to be maybe aluminum, you know, or, or a metal mast. Your basic cross bugs, two tracks, yield, and emergency contact info. You have the same setup on the other side. And then here, this burr looks like it's not in use anymore. I think these were made by W.C. Hayes. Oh yeah, yeah, look at that. W. Damn, that's why I'm your railroad archaeologist. Look at that, W.C. Hayes. Uh, the rest of the writing, I gotta confess to you, I'm not wearing my reading glasses and it's pretty oxidated so I can't, I know it says wheel stop, Hayes, but the other numbers, I can't make them out. And then this rail here, oh, this is something special. This rail here is, uh, huh. Okay, maybe it's not visible there. Let's try over here. Yeah, I know there's numbers on it, but... Oh, yeah, here you go. 1926. 1926. So, this was the same year that Seaboard built this track. Seaboard Airline, that is. This track is about to be 100 years old in 2026. Making it 95 years old right now. Look at that. And then this one here to the left or north might appear to look in use. Why? Because I see some scratches on it. The flange right there. It's pretty oxidated so that would show like light use. But yeah, it still gets serviced once in the blue. At least it would appear so. And then on this side, you have one that it obviously belong to a place that doesn't receive rail service anymore because they don't exist they demolished all that it was probably a warehouse i'm assuming so that's east towards the golden glades interchange underneath i-95 over there and here you have facing west now who receives service here is a great question and follow the point. So here, last time it was used, it was going straight. Makes sense, why? Because this spur here would, have, would lead you into a forest right now. And interesting side note, 
two interesting side notes. This might have been part of the original. Uh, no, nah, maybe not. I was going to say part of the original crossing, but no. The sidewalk was here before the tracks. Do you guys agree? Comment down below. So, yeah. Oh, this idiot's gonna pass. Come on, come on. All right. Headed east. Same deal. You had the. They had to work around the sidewalk. It seems right. Missing a piece right there. And yeah, so that one goes into uh, the Amazon jungle. And this seems like about a half mile walk all the way to the end. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'll include a Google Maps link to the crossing so you guys can aerial view it from uh, Google Maps or whatever you use. Then here, it, it maybe would have came like the. I don't know if this track was intended for that bottom customer at the end of the line. Or it could be that they parked box cars here and they came to get them, with, like unload them with forklifts from there. Not out of the realm of possibility. I mean, it's unorthodox because usually you, you would have an elevated dock. But hey, I guess anything's possible, right? All right, ladies and gents, let me know what you think of, of uh, this location and these tracks. <clears throat> Always a pleasure. Look forward to reading your comments. Give me a like, it helps me with the YouTube alg algorithm. And remember, I, I post videos on Wednesdays and Sundays. Thank you. Always a pleasure. Bye-bye.